Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to a new devlog about my game Volunteers. Alright, so in the previous devlog what I did was to make sure my project runs okay on God of War. I had a good job to do to convert my map system and my foliage system and everything. So now that this is done, I guess we're ready to move forward. My goal is to have a minimal playable version at the end of 2022. Cool, so for that I created a tiny, tiny, tiny list. <laughs> All right, Allied, there is a lot of stuff to do. I guess we're gonna need to speedrun everything if we want to have this for 2022. So first point, I wanted to have the damage when you hit the player. For example, you see the headshot with the red and the body shot with the white. Very nice. And it should also work when you shoot fast with the weapon. I think that looks decent. All right, so now that this is done, we can move to the next point, which is to show the name of your teammate in your own game. So for example, here you have your teammate Yo, which has health and shield. And when he drinks shield, you see that the bar is increasing. And when he gets shots, his shield is also reducing. Very nice, this is what we wanted. We see this information in a lot of game and I think that this is really useful for when you wanna share resources. The next logical thing to do is to include the name of your teammate on the top of their head. So this way you see who is your teammate and who is not. So your opponent won't have a name. That looks decent, this is cool. This was one point, but we still have a lot of stuff to do. The next thing I wanted to do was to add sounds for most of the stuff in the game. For example, when you walk, run or crouch. And also for when you jump and land. Another one for when you pick up item. Or when you drop them. I'm not 100% satisfied with the sound I took, but that's good enough for now. The next thing I wanted to do was to make sure I'm able to stack items, for example the potions. If you see here, I'm stacking up to 3 potions per inventory slot. And I also make sure I destroy the item when I consume all of them. I wanted to do this for a long time now and I feel like right now it's the perfect timing to do it. And while we are in the inventory, I also created new items that you can pick up. Until now, all the weapons has infinite ammo, but not anymore. But for that, we're gonna need a new inventory system. So the one you see here, we're gonna have to say bye-bye. I didn't like the look of it. Also, the way it worked, it was really confusing. What the hell is that thing? What didn't work in the previous one was the fact that you were not able to see at once all the items that you had. You had to switch weapon to see everything you had in your inventory. I did a much more traditional inventory system, but at least you see all your items at once. And you can now pick up ammo as well. And by clicking a button, you can make them appear and drop them as well by right clicking. I feel like it's much more practical than before and that allows you to display everything. So I like it. Previously, the only way to drop a weapon was to press the button G. And now you can also right click on an item and make it drop. That's cool. I've also decided to add gravity for when you drop an item. I feel like before it was not good enough, but now it's really satisfying to drop something. So nice. Okay, next point. What is that? Okay, so here I still have my previous inventory system just because I really wanted in the video to have all the inventory stuff in the same sequence. But I added a global objective per round. So each round there is an objective in the middle of the map. The goal here is to allow each team to capture this objective to win the round. So there is there's two ways to run around now, to kill all the enemies or to make this progress reach the end. Awesome! Now that we have the objective, this is the time to have a full game loop. So I have added a game starting screen to wait for all the players to be connected and also a way to end the game. So when everything is over, you will see this screen. And just like that, we have a full game loop. I am happy. Practically perfect in every way. Another thing I wanted to add is a minimal controller support because I know not everyone is really comfortable with keyboard and mouse. So I decided to give it a try and that was really easy to integrate with Godot. And don't worry PC player, there is no aim assist in this one. This is really minimal support. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do was to improve my lobby system because previously the only thing you were able to do was to fight against one player so now i added your steam friends that you 
can invite and join. So in the lobby, the person with the crown is the lobby leader. So this is the only one that can start the matchmaking. And you can leave the lobby if you want and you will get your crown back. And when you're ready, you just have to find a match and that will start a matchmaking on both sides and eventually find a match and everything. And you can of course cancel the matchmaking if you don't want to join the game anymore. Well, let's have a look at the list. Hey, there is not much anymore. All the things that are there are not very mandatory to have a minimal playable version. And wow, almost everything has been done. I am really happy. Of course, the game is not over, but I really wanted to have something that I can test with my friends. And now I think I'm ready to create a new build on Playfab. If you don't remember, Playfab allows me to host my game servers on the cloud and pop instances when needed. So I guess that the one last thing to do is to ask Steam to get beta keys for my game so I can share it. And just like that, I got approved and I got beta keys that I can just download. How cool is that? That's gonna be so much easier to just invite friend and play the game. <laughs> so this is what I did. I invited some friends to play with me. So we're gonna do a 2v2 game. Here what you're gonna see in the next minutes is us playing the game. So I won't talk, I will let the game play. Although you got to know that my main language is French and so is theirs, so you're gonna hear some French. Don't worry though, what we say is not really important to the game and for the stuff that is kind of important, I did put some translation. I hope you'll enjoy the play. We had a lot of fun playing together and we did a few matches that allowed me to gather some information about my problems and everything. Let's get started! Non mais ton bonhomme il a comme fait euh, la passe dans la matrice quand il évite des balles là. <rire> ok ok. Je suis sur ta gauche, on va se garder un petit peu d'espace là pour looter. Mec j'ai deux rifles, tu sais. Shit. Damn man, ils sont bien vite sur toi qu'eux autres. J'ai un autre <rire> rifle, ça me fait un set de, de balles. Oh my god, ok bon. C'est pas y'a en dedans. Il réfléchit <rire> le... <rire> La fausse lumière ou en tout cas. Ouais. Ok. Ok, ça se peut qu'on. J'ai une autre gun pour euh... toi ici. Tu sais, je vais te donner. J'ai un empoigné. Ah! Ouais. Ok, on lacte tous. Euh, ouais. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee